Uh, hello again, this is uh, S. Scott from the Retro Gamer Forum. I'm going to do a uh, kind of a themed set of videos which are uh, 10 games on 10 systems. So I want to have a look at 10 different games on 10 of the less common systems which I own. And the reason for this is to give them a, uh, a play because otherwise they sit there gathering dust and don't do much. So the aim is really for me just to uh, explore some of the games that I uh, own and uh, you know, get some fun out of it, otherwise it becomes more of a museum than a game drum. Anyway, not prattling on. So the first one is uh, the game, it's not very big on the screen actually, which is, uh, where's it gone? Uh, Munchkin. And uh, I think you can guess what kind of game that is. And the Philips video pack uh, numbered their cartridges. Um, that one's number 38. Um, get another one there. Number 25, can't remember what that one is, skiing, etc. So you can see the shape of these cartridges, the little handles on. You're supposed to carry them around like a shopping bag or whatever, but uh, yeah, so pretty standard car, other than that. Yeah, nothing special about that. Um, something special, or maybe not special about the case, is um, these are very hinges here. Very similar to the uh, Dreamcast in that they look like they're going to break at any time. And in fact, um, they do. So you've got to be really careful with those if you're a collector. You can see on the inside of the box is a list. You can just about see that. Um, a list of all the games released so far. Most of them were um, rip-offs or homages to the uh, um, popular arcade games at the time. Bearing in mind the... Uh, video pack came out uh, very early so the games modelled on it were Pac-Man and Space Invaders and all the usual can't wait to track down play school math there so you had your kind of generic games I don't know what it went up to but it was certainly more than that anyway so anyway so that's the cartridges the console which I think I've briefly looked at before uh, a bit messy down here this is my kind of uh, area where I'm still setting up and you can see that uh, is the machine. It doesn't have an on or an off button. It has a reset button. Uh, so, like a few systems, uh, if you plug it into the socket, it's uh, it comes on. I've got a fly kind of going around the mic at the moment if that picks up. Um, and you've got that membrane keyboard, which is popular in some of the early models, and many were replaced with those kind of keyboards later. So, um, also about it. I said it does have a keyboard. I know it had a various expansions as well on, on the, the side you can't get around and see at the moment um, to improve it. But uh, yeah, made by Philips. This is, uh, I think it was this the sequel to the Odyssey. I can't remember now. I uh, should have done my research before I went on. But anyway, um, so we're going to play a Munchkin um, using that controller. Um, controllers have quite a good history in themselves. I mean, it looks extremely. Uh, fragile, you can see there, it's an analog um, controller, and it, it looks like <laughs> pretty rough. It's a very light box, and uh, but they work pretty well. And these are hardwired straight into the console; you can't move them. Okay, so I'll just put the game on, and I'll probably get that banding thing on the screen. I hate, but it's not really the purpose of this video, just to see what it looks like. So, anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is reset the game. And it comes up with an option there, you can see just to select game and uh, showing off all its colour palette, I'd imagine. Let's see if I can set the camera down now to, to view it. I'll play it one handed, what the hell. Okay, so you've got to press one on the keyboard now. Faff on. As you can see, it's going to be difficult. Handed, right. And a couple of little features on this that make it sort of, not unique, but slightly different from Pac-Man are that some of the dots roam around the screen. Um, the ghosts don't go back to their normal location and you can see there are significantly less dots than the uh, uh, version of Pac-Man. So. But it does actually play quite well. The uh, controls are pretty responsive. Um, unfortunately, 
as uh, like many machines, it didn't have particularly much memory or you pretty much start again. Um, slightly more faster, more uh, intelligent bad guy, so. But compared to some of the games from the generation, it's not that bad. Um, yet again, why would somebody buy a machine like this? Probably nostalgia, of course, um, if you owned it. But also, um, while this gets very limited play, I only have three games for it. Um, it is nice just to experience different kinds of consoles, controller systems, and uh, and uh, I think I got mine for twenty pound on eBay. So if you can find one for that price, um, it's well worth it. Okay, so that's the first of um, my ten games. So that was Munchkin on the uh, Video Pack G Seven Thousand. Okay, the next one I'm going to look at, and I'm going to have to take a break now while I uh, uh, load it. Will be. Uh, on the Amstrad CPC, right next door. So I'm going to go load that and I'll be back soon.